this study, we treated children with Drave syndrome, which is a very serious genetic form of epilepsy that unfortunately has a very high seizure burden and a very high mortality from epilepsy, that these children who had not responded to often five or 10 other treatments were given cannabidiol or a placebo in addition to their existing medications. Cannabidiol is the major non-psychoactive ingredient in cannabis, also known as marijuana. So cannabidiol does not produce any high or psychoactive properties and therefore has less potential side effects, especially for use in children, than a psychoactive compound such as THC. We were in the double-blind placebo-controlled phase of the study, and uh, we did that for 14 weeks, and we were like totally convinced that she was in placebo because her seizures um, didn't change at all. And then we were able to um, roll into the open-label extension, and the second day that we were in um, open-label and we knew that she was getting the actual drug, um, she went seizure-free, like completely seizure-free, for two months which um, has never happened. The main findings of the study were that there was a very statistically significant reduction in the convulsive seizure frequency in patients who were randomized to cannabidiol when compared to patients who were randomized to placebo. So the message is that cannabidiol does work in reducing convulsive seizures in children with Dravé syndrome. My hope for the future is that this study will lead to more similar studies to assess cannabidiol and perhaps products containing both cannabidiol and THC in various forms of epilepsy.